I wanted to show you this counting relay that I bought for a project that I'm doing. So what I'm doing with this is I'm using it to count. I've got an auger that's I'm making a stock feeder. And so as it turns, it counts the number of divisions that drop so that I can make it, you know, I can tell it I want it to drop one division or five divisions or I want it to run around however many times I need. And it's really interesting. It, uh, so it's got a relay in it that is, has one normally open and one normally uh, closed contact. And then it counts either down or up. So it'll count like say 10, you know, you can count up to 10 or you can count from 10 down to zero. And when it gets to whatever you want it to count, it changes the state of that relay from open to closed. And then you can reset it with the little reset button here, or you can have it reset by connecting two contacts together, um, whichever you know works for you. Now, I have it activating with a proximity sensor. You can also just uh, connect two you know, wires together like a switch uh, to make it do too. So let me just kind of show you. So with this proximity sensor, I've just got it, well, I've just got it seeing these screws as they pass over it. So you can see as it goes across, one, and then when it hits two, you can hear the relay kick. And then it doesn't count anymore until I reset it. One, two, and then it'll stay that way. It also, if you turn it off, so if you take the power away from it and bring the power back to it, it resets it. Because that's actually the way I'm using it. And then, so, like I said, it'll, it'll count up or it'll count down. So, and how much will it count? Well, it's got uh, four bases here. So, you know, up to 9,999 here. And then it'll do that times one times 10 times 100. And then if it's got a line under it, that means it's going to count down from there. So let's get, let's make this three. And then as I come across it, it's going to count down. So three, two, one, and it changes the relay. If it's the other way, let's see. It's going to count up one, two, three and it's and it switches the relay now if you've got it like in the tens place so times ten all right so on the tens place it's going to count the number of tens so this is saying you're wanting three tens it's not going to count to thirty it's going to count one ten two tens and then thirty so like one two three four five six seven eight nine ten is one ten one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten is two tens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then it clicks over the relay. I will, um, I'll show you, put a schematic uh, on the website that shows you how to wire in this proximity sensor. The proximity sensor needs to be an NPN type proximity sensor. If you go to buy one, you'll see them labeled as PNP or NPN. You need an NPN to go with this particular one. And I'll have a link to this in the description in case you're interested in it and the proximity sensors. Here's the wiring diagram for it. And you can see it also, it comes in a lot of different voltages. This one's 110 but it comes on in many different voltages, both AC and DC. Anyway, I hope this was interesting to you. Thank you for watching.